Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna catch a bunch of mice with the most wicked and fascinating style mouse traps that I've ever seen. It falls into a category of antique style mouse traps known as guillotines for good reason. Each one has a sharp metal blade that comes slamming down on the mouse's neck. Now this is a very dangerous trap. I have to be careful. Earlier, I accidentally caught my thumb with that jagged, sharp, rusty metal blade and it bled. Now it's getting infected. I'm gonna have to double check and make sure my tetanus shot is up to date with this one. Now original antique guillotine style mouse traps are very valuable. Each one was handmade by a person with woodworking and metal skills. So no two are the same. They're all one of a kind and mousetrap collectors pay a fortune for them. The only one I've ever seen for sale was on eBay a few weeks ago. It was a different style that wasn't complete. It wasn't even working and the condition was pretty poor, but someone else wanted it more. I didn't get it. That just shows how valuable these mousetraps are. Now everything I know about the guillotine mousetrap I'm featuring today is from a wood carving blog by a man named Steven. I'll put a link down below. Now based on the type of wood the trap's made out of and the name of the maker that's carved in the bottom, Steven speculates the trap originally came from Norway. So based on the measurements and photos he has on his blog, I made my own trap. Now people give me a hard time in the comment section. They say my videos aren't long enough and I don't show how I make the traps. So in this video, I'll show you step by step how I made this, but it's a very time consuming process. So I'll show you the highlights and do some fast motion. But if you want to make this trap, at least you'll get an idea. And then after I show you how to make it, we'll catch some ice. The first thing we need to make our mouse trap is a piece of wood. Now, originally the mouse trap was made out of a burl. This is a burl. It's basically a funny growth on a tree. You can see the skinny trunk and then it bulges at the bottom. Woodworkers love to work with burls. The grain inside is all twisted and gnarly and it's a very dense wood but I'm not gonna use this burl to make our mouse trap. First of all, it's way too big. Secondly, the tree's still living. I'd have to cut it down, cut it up, and the wood will shrink and warp and twist. That will take quite a bit of time. And the third reason is, it's the wrong kind of tree. This is a cherry tree. Originally being from Norway, the mouse trap was made out of a paper birch burl. And as you can see, there's not a lot of paper birch trees around here. So to find the wood for my mouse trap, I found the answer in Russia. Well, actually on eBay. There I found the perfect size wooden blank birch burl and it's already seasoned and it only cost $16. So I bought it for our project, but because it was coming from Russia, it took a while to get here. This wooden blank is perfect for a mouse trap. It's well seasoned and it has beautiful grain. So let's go cut off the ends and start shaping it with the belt sander. The bottoms warp just a little, the edges aren't square, but that's nothing a belt sander can't fix. Let's go start our project. Now that our wooden blank is cut to the rough shape and sanded smooth, we're ready to make the hole. Now it's not a perfect circle, but for starters, I'm gonna drill it out with a Forstner bit. With the hole drilled, we're ready to finish shaping it with the Dremel tool. The next steps, which are going to be very time consuming, are to make all the metal pieces for the trap, including the coil kill bar and the trigger system. On the original, at the center of the coil was a bolt with a square head. That's what I have here. We'll drill a hole and mount this. Now for the coil, I have a piece of metal strapping. This came on a shipment of lumber. It's kind of rusty, but it's very springy. It should work well. But this strapping is too wide. It's about twice the width it needs to be. So for starters, I'm going to cut this strip down the center. But to do that, you have to have the right tool for the job. Here we go. Just like cutting paper. Now we can make the coil by tightly wrapping the metal around a pair of pliers three or four times. You can feel how springy that is. That's gonna make a powerful mousetrap. 
With the coil all shaped, I now need to bend the blade flat. To do that, I'm going to heat the metal right here and twist it. I'm also going to heat it and twist it on the end to make the tab for setting it. With the metal on the kill bar twisted, we can now file in some teeth, finish making all the components of the trigger system, and shape the wood. We'll drill it, sand it, and fit everything together. What's so fun about doing these projects is it's like putting a puzzle together, only you get to make all your own pieces. In this case, it required eight metal pieces and a wooden blank. So let me assemble this mouse trap and I'll show you how it works. The first thing I'll say about this trap is the coil spring is very powerful. That sharp metal blade comes slamming down. That should do the job on mice. Right here we have a guard that holds the blade close to the trap. And on top is the trigger system. To set it, you pull this out, there's a little hook and that's what holds up the blade. And that hooks to a trigger inside with bait. When the mouse pulls it, the blade goes down and you got him. Now this was pretty fun to make. I had to make it a hair trigger so it fits just perfectly. You hook the pieces together right there. So sensitive. As soon as the mouse barely touches the trigger. Now this was a big project that took a lot of time but I made a working model to catch mice. We're gonna go set it up in the chicken coop with motion cameras and try to catch four mice in a row, one after another. The reason I need four mice is I'm trying to catch some bloodthirsty meat loving rats. These rats have a taste for mouse meat. And in my next video on Friday, I'm gonna use them as bait. Let's go set up our guillotine mouse trap and try to get some mice for bait.
Our guillotine mousetrap worked even better than expected. What a great design. It didn't take long to get four mice. One after another, they wanted the bait, went in there, pulled the trigger, and that metal blade came down on them. Now I have to be very selective in the footage I show on YouTube. So if you want to see the full sequence of this trap in action, I'll put it on my website. Now normally you don't see mice out during the daytime, but when the sun goes down, the rats come out and they're hunters. They love to eat mice, so the mice come out during the daytime and the rats at night. So on Friday, we're gonna catch those bloodthirsty rats with a powerful L-shaped rat trap. We'll see how many rats we can get. We'll set up all four traps. Now normally my videos are much shorter. This took a really long time to film and edit, so hopefully you like it. If you want more videos like this where I show how I build the traps, leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider clicking the button right there. I've posted over 500 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you wanna see how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned, especially this Friday for enormous rats.